Hi, I'm Heather Dawson. Every week on our show, we bring you the best of California. Let's start off with a tour of headlines that made news around the state. In Southern California, the price of driving on the toll roads has gone down for the 91 Freeway Express lanes. The goal is to encourage more trips across Riverside to Orange County. And Congress introduced an annual art contest for the districts surrounding Eureka, where local youth can enter original artwork. The winner will have their artwork displayed in the Capitol building for one year. In Sacramento, Vishal Prasad, an 11-year-old elementary school student from Elk Grove, won AAA's Patroller of the Year Award for his work in helping keep students safe in traffic zones. He is only one of 11 students around the country to receive this award and the only student from California. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. I can't wait to stand over your shoulder and watch you write us a check. Mark! 500 million friends and now several major awards. In the Golden Globe, goes to social network. The Facebook tale, The Social Network, and its director, David Fincher, picked up top honors at both the Golden Globes and the Critics' Choice Awards, making them the clear frontrunners for the Oscar. And the Golden Globe goes to... Natalie Portman, Black Swan. In the Best Actress category, Natalie Portman is leading the pack for her portrayal of a ballerina who pirouettes into madness in the psychological thriller Black Swan. Nobody's after you. God, to me. I was a resident and Jules had an But she faces some stiff competition, especially from Annette Benning, who won the Globe for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. But the kids are all right. Conventional family. You are a very good queen. You are a very great king. Forget everything else and just say it to me. The King's speech is leading to acceptance speech after acceptance speech for lead actor Colin Firth. Right now, this is all that stands between me and a Harley Davidson, so um, I, I owe you a, a very great debt. You're crazy. I'm the one fighting, not you. And so not far, you, the fighters Melissa you. Leo and Christian Bale have this swept the supporting categories. But some of the That's biggest no awards and nominations are yet to come. Can build cities. With so many great movies and performances to pick from this year, things could look very different come Oscar time. Please. Bringing you the best of entertainment, I'm Audra Stafford for California Life. He won the gold in Italy at the Olympics and he got his training right here in the Southland. Brent Weber takes us on a ride with a flying tomato of snowboarding. The flying tomato may be the hot tamale in terms of Torino Winter Olympic phenoms, but SoCal's Sean White has been doing the stuff of legend seemingly his whole life. Olympic gold? Oh yeah, he loved it, but hey, there's nothing to be scared of here. Want to be afraid of something? Try a first descent. Doing a first descent is pretty heavy, basically because it's, it just means that you're the first one to ever in history go down the face of this one mountain. And the sketchiest part about that is is you don't know what's gonna happen because nobody's ridden it before. You, know, you don't know whether like there's a big crevasse in the middle of it, whether it's gonna avalanche or you know, what's gonna happen, whether the snow is really fast or you know I mean there's so many things that go on and, and uh, that that to me is pretty heavy. Check out the movie that White starred in this winter, first descent from Universal a big screen documentary featuring White and fellow Olympian Hannah Teeter and a couple of other boarders making historic runs in the Alaskan wilderness. The worst was is standing up at the top with Terrier and then I'm just thinking over my head like my mom and dad like I had gotten like four sit down talks with them like okay now I know Terrier's gonna go with you and don't let him take you up anywhere. And I was just standing up there like, wow, I'm just doing the total opposite of what everybody's told me.
is just kind of getting over that fear of what everybody's telling me and just kind of taking my own look at it. I'll be honest, like, I had like a little shake going. I, like, you know, like right before you drop in like the X Games pipe, you got a little, little bit of a shake going and that's exactly what it was. I was just like, okay, well if it slides, you're just gonna fly that way. Oh, it was fun. It's just such a different mindset out here. These magnificent snow-capped mountains may look like they're in Utah or Colorado, but they're actually right here in Southern California and home to one of the region's best kept secrets, the Mount Baldy Ski Resort, which spans more than 400 acres in the Angeles National Forest. People have been coming to Mount Baldy to ski since the 1940s, with ski lifts to the current location first being established in the 1950s. Today, skiers, snowboarders, and those just seeking fun in the snow still come to the resort just minutes north of the 210 freeway. Well, it's, it's gorgeous. You know, it takes us 35 minutes to get here from our home, so couldn't be better. Yeah, I've lived in Newport, Newport Beach off and on for about 20 years, and uh, many times I'd come up here and ski for an hour and have lunch with the guys and ski for another hour and go home. And it's as they say in the real estate business, it's all about location, location, location. Mount Baldy is the closest ski and snowboarding resort to most of Southern California, with it taking less than an hour to drive from LA or Orange counties, and even less time from the Inland Empire. We're really making our our uh, attempt to to bring Mount Baldy into the spotlight of an area that's in your backyard, and you can come up and, and enjoy it for the day. You don't have to drive, you know, five hours. We're close. We're very close to LA. It's only like an hour drive from downtown LA up here. So people come up and I just I just when I just was coming up the lift a few minutes ago, I was talking to people as they were coming down. People are quitting, they go, Yeah, I'm going back down, I'm gonna go surfing in the afternoon. So we're so close that they can ski in the morning and surf in the afternoon. It's just a great experience coming here. And that experience is great for expert skiers all the way down to first timers. So, with ski lessons and rentals available right here on the mountain, all you need to do is make the short drive to Mount Baldy and get ready to have fun. Hey, come on up. Have a good time. This year, Mount Baldy has taken extra steps to ensure good snow all season with their new 9 million gallon snowmaking water reservoir. What this does for us is that we're going to be able to almost guarantee a uh, base of snow that we're going to be able to uh, ski on and snowboard on. We'll be able to shoot the snow on our beginner area uh, and also up on our Thunder Mountain lift over there on Skyline and the uh, Bonanza Run and the Robbins Run. And if skiing isn't your thing, check out the new Monster Tubing Park, which offers inner tube drill rides for the entire family. And sure, you'll need to take a break from the slopes, so come on in to the top of the notch lodge for a bite to eat. With spectacular views that include Catalina Island, the lodge offers all kinds of familiar favorites, and there's also the new Yacht Club restaurant and bar, which features a fun dining experience with great items like fish tacos, sandwiches, and the gigantic rubber hamburger. So this winter, head up to Southern California's hidden gem, Mount Baldy. It's easy to find. Just take the 210 freeway toward Upland, get off at Mountain Avenue or Baseline Road, and head north. So whether you're coming up here to ski, snowboard, maybe go on the tubes, the sightsee, or even have lunch at the lodge, come on up. It is absolutely gorgeous. From the top of Thunder Mountain, I'm David Wiley at the Mount Baldy Ski Resort for Southern California Life. It's a school where passion is put to the test. I'm Audra Stafford here at the San Diego School of Creative and Performing Arts. And coming up, I'll show you how they're making learning both educational and entertaining.